Hello and welcome into the start of the first India game uh, with Chandra Group to here. And we've got a spawn. This is uh, luckily uh, like the first, this is our first roll. Uh, and it's, it's pretty, it's pretty preem. Uh, preem? Prime. Primo? I was splitting the difference. It's fine. Um, we have, we have a, a really, like maybe like the second best tile in the game to start with uh, by, by, by working. Uh, three food and two production. Um, and we also spawned on top of a Plains Hill, which means we would get the extra production from this. So we're starting off with basically an extra food and an extra production. And that's really, really strong. Um, and we're going to want to do a whole lot of things early on. So that really kind of helps. Um, priority one, as far as tech goes, um, is going to be getting an encampment because we're going to want to do an early war. We're going to want to build an encampment and then we're going to oh, we can still build horsemen. That's really good. We'll want both of these. I forgot that you could do that. Um, I wasn't sure if this was an exclusive unit, but it doesn't actually replace it. Um, and that's good uh, because bo mostly we're going to be doing... We, the thing we know we're doing for sure is an early war. Um, and that's going to be an encampment plus the stable, a few Varu, and a few horsemen. Uh, and then a surprise war, basically, uh, where we get the extra movement. So Varu, Varu with uh, four movement, pretty gross. Pretty gross. This is a strong unit. Um, you probably don't want to build them exclusively, especially if you're playing Gandhi, because you don't have the extra movement. There are three maintenance and only two movement. But if you get them in position, they debuff every unit around them. So minus five combat strength. We'll get an extra five combat strength for our war, uh, for, our, for our, our, our whatever it is, territorial expansion war. Um, and then another five combat strength, ideally, from the general. Um, so that's going to be really, really strong. It's really, it's, it's, it's impossible to pass that up, honestly. Um, oh, I don't have the great, oh, they're the great people. Uh, ooh, cool. We can get the art of war after we're done with this general too. So, so this is our number one priority. There's a really good scientist up, um, really good. Actually, all, all of the great people in this game, um, are, 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 are great. They're great. <laughs> um, so, so we know we need an encampment and then the rest is like kind of dot, dot, dot. Uh, probably won't be able to do the early general thing and found our own religion. Um, although obviously something like uh, crusade would be fun for us uh, if we could make that work. Um, but I don't have to like we, we'll, we'll want commercial hubs. We'll want uh, an encampment. So there, there are definitely a few things that we could do here that would be pretty interesting. Um, as far as the settle, I mean certainly we should move our warrior. We've got some coast going on over here. Um, so that's uh, it might leave us with a dead tile or two. But we could build a harbor. Um, and do some naval, like mid or late game naval stuff. Um, not sure how we're winning this game yet. One of the few times in this series where we're going to start and not really know what we're up to quite yet. Um, so the settle in place gets us a lot of strength here. Um, and then probably an expansion to both the stone, uh, the stone, hopefully not this stone first. That would be a, that would be really rude because um, that's a bad tile. But expanding to two, two tiles, we basically start with a really good first tile. Um, and then we'll need to expand. There'll be a turner there, a uh, turner two there, where we're working either a two one or a, a one two. Um, so that'll be weak, but that'll only last for about a turn. And then we're either probably going to add in the ivory. I hope they expand to, or the uh, stone, because we'll, we'll we'll try to get a, a quick settler uh, going. And what, like I said, we're just going to ignore the religion. We'll do we'll do religion with Gandhi when we get there. Um, as far as the move goes, um, I would consider settling one tile west. Because I'm worried that this coast is going to leave some awkward land over here. Um, and if we moved, uh, we would lose the production from our base. But we would still start with a 3-2 and have access to all of this good stuff. Um, so that is a thought. But it's hard to just not settle in place. We could also do an early Artemis rush. Um, the, Ar Artemis, once again, um, has great potential here. Three amenities at least. We, we can do the camp on the ivory. Uh, but then it slows down our war. I, it, it might not be bad. Basically, we would trade. We would trade our. Uh, we would trade our second, or maybe our third settle for Artemis, and we would have all the production to do it, including chops. It's kind of interesting to think about. I might. We might want to do that. Artemis is just so so strong, so game changing. It'll be the new Petra for for those of you who have followed the series. Um, Artemis is just that good. And the fact that we have olives and ivory on our continent, uh, means that an Artemis here might be even better. We should probably go for Artemis, huh guys? 
It's not OCC. Have we done an Artemis? Yeah, in the last game, we got a really good Artemis with Catherine. Um, but it's so good. It's so good. Look at all these 2-2 two -two tiles. This is perfect. New World Age for the win. Well, let's move, let's move our warrior and see what we can see. This movement isn't going to grant us anything. This one might discover a little bit there. Um, I don't think I want to move across because then it's just movement, movement, movement. I could, I could settle. Since we know this is coast, I could settle and send our warrior this way to scout out Artemis potential. Because we will, we'd be able to move through our city center for free versus um, losing the extra movement onto the rough terrain. Kind of like that idea. And we just start with the really, really strong opening. And so be it if there's an awkward city. Seems good. Um, not a lot of river lumber mill potential. We do have some woods. We could clear all of this if we wanted to. Um, or we could use the adjacency bonus for a holy site. But I don't see us doing a lot with holy sites. You could still make this a holy site or this for a little, a small, a small little bonus there. We also have a farm, so maybe like farming triangle with like a step well, like there. Pretty cool. I think we're just going to settle in place, and I think I will move my warrior up and around. And uh, yeah, I think I think we will maybe be comfortable delaying the encampment. Oh, rushing to that encampment is good though. But this lets me improve the the our stuff. A little bit ah yeah let's I, artemis is too hard to say no to when it's when it's right here it's like asking us we could also move and settle here um we'd start with some strong production tiles but not the growth i like the growth of this because i really like i like i like growth tiles when i have useful tiles to grow into right and we when we have that here we have two twos and uh one three ones like it's just really strong um so i think that'll be the plan we'll settle in place so it's choppable, like like farming triangle, and then step well, step well, and then put our districts this way. It'll be really good. We're going to have a really strong capital. We just have to figure out what we're doing with it. Press the button. Cool. So we have a 2-2 two -two base, and then we're working a 3-2 tile. Uh, and we, God, we have, you know, if only there were cattle, this would truly be... A great Zimbabwe. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six so far. There might be a seventh somewhere. All right. So now we're going to use our uh, city center to move this way and go inland and meet people versus I can send my scout down here later. It might continue, uh, but certainly we know we have coast here. So more two, two tiles jungle. Oh, I love this spawn. It's so good. Five turns until growth. Uh, and we can get a quick uh, five-turn scout as well. This is perfect. We could, we could go scout and live a little dangerously. Keep our warrior nearby. We could go scout, settler, builder, uh, and then just pray that we don't get attacked. Because <laughs> we'll, we'd be skipping slingers. But this is, this is nice, man. This is, this is as much, this is as good as you can hope for. And Artemis, again, for those that don't know, has to be built next to a camp. We have that uh, qualification in the ivory. Gives you four food and three housing. Like, we would have a ginormous cap with an Artemis here. Streamer lo loot or luck? Hey, Quest. Yay, yeah, it's exciting. I'm, I'm, thanks for being here, everybody. Appreciate it. Getting started with a new game here. Yeah, we're definitely starting with the Scout, though. Friday morning multiplayer? I was thinking morning if you're around for it, buddy. Um, and then we go, like, we could, we could go here. Hmm. Do I want to take the big movement? Um, I, the only reason I say that we could go here is because I know that this is flat land. And so it might wind up making some interesting scouting. But I think, I think it's better to just take both movement when it's there. Yeah. Worst case scenario is we wind up moving somewhere like next turn that's going to take both our movement because that was actually kind of useless but oh well all right um here or here or here i think here Although moving onto the hill here is probably generally better because we this is all flat, so we can probably get all that vision anyways. So we should go here. 
Oh, yeah. See that? There we go. That's good stuff right there. Uh, and we have we have some horses, which is very important. Um, our our next settle needs to take advantage of this and and uh, be able to build some horsemen. We want horses and elephants uh, coming through at the same time. Uh, and it's another it's another so so far it's a four amenity Artemis. It's really 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 strong, really 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 strong. Chat weighing in and agreeing me with the, agreeing with me with the hills. I like it. Marsh settle possibly. We could we could stay close together and get the extra production. Settle here, get the two two tile. But the problem there is there's not a lot as much to grow into. There might be. We'll find out. Keep using our settler lens. Hey, we found some barbarians. Um, that that that's really good because we can uh, we could actually go slinger settler, uh, and then maybe get the boost for archery. Because if this camp is close, that might be good for us. Oh my god, and truffles as well. Um. With the marsh, you get two, two, two tiles immediately. This, where? Oh, this, this marsh settle. I thought you meant this marsh settle. Yeah, the marsh settle there could be reasonable. Could be reasonable. What settings are we playing? This is deity. Uh, this is a standard size map um, on on a continents. Continents loadout. Yeah, this that might be good. That way we get this. What's the AW challenge? This is uh this is our, our summer sieve marathon, basically. Continent split? No, that's the only bummer. But being that our continent continent has uh, both olives, ivory, and truffles, so not not just both, all three things. Um, this Artemis could be really good. Would we want to build it like there? Just to maybe pick up some more, because it's either here. Here or here, but we can we can figure that out in a second. Two turns on our settler, two turns on growth, um, and we have five turns on border growth. Yeah, because this is so strong, we're actually outpacing our first border expansion, um, which is okay. That means we'll have three turns of working a little bit weaker tile, which brings us down a peg from our high horse of how good this is. But that's okay. It'll be fine. Am I starting early for Friday multiplayer? No, I mean I could. Depends what we, yeah, depends what we decide, man. I'd be, I'd be, I'd be down for like an 8 a.m. game. I don't know if that would work for you. I, ha I have to go find this camp. How do we do it? I guess just move here. I, I need, to, I need to address this. This guy, this guy is going to find my. In fact, I'm tempted to move back, just, to, just to hit him in the marsh if that's where he winds up moving, just to keep him, keep him from discovering my uh, capital here. I could just stay and go onto the hill next, I guess. Otherwise, I'm going marsh, like possibly hitting this. You like moving back one? It is the safest play for sure. Yeah, I do not want like if 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 barbarians disrupt our really opening our good opening start here, I'm gonna be pretty bummed out. So I will move back here. Are you gonna go there? Where are you going to go? Yeah, you did. Take some damage. Because otherwise it could have moved there, right? Or no, because zone of control would have prevented it. <clears throat> you like the scout settler builder? I'm, I'm te I'm, I am tempted to get the, the slinger, though, being that we could get the boost. That would save us time. The, the things that aren't, like, our tiles and things are really strong, but um, unless we're going to meet some city-states, we're going to be low economy uh, early on, which is a little sad. All right, so now where are you going here? We're back up. Oh, you're just going to offer yourself up to me. Okay. Can I buy a slinger? Well, that's the other, like, I don't have, maybe if we start working the ivory, we could have a little bit of gold there. Not sure yet. Um, this is only 10 turns for a settler. I think we are going to go for a settler right away. I think we are going to go for a settler. Um, I guess down this way.
It, it, this feels weird not having this vision. You know, if I move here, we could move through the jungle onto the flatland the following turn. Although there's... This river ends. Hmm. And this is coast again? Oh. So maybe I don't want to go that way. Unless I'm afraid of barbarians. So being that this is coast and it looks like this ends, maybe we're at like we're maybe we're at the hat. Maybe we've got a little like a little hat. <laughs> we're at the, the top of the hat continent. So I will come down then. Oh my god, cattle. Okay, yes, yeah, so so far either one work. Uh well actually this would be best. Either one of these locations works. Uh yeah, this for Artemis perhaps? One, two, three, four, five. Which means we can't settle the marsh because it'll take the tile. Oh. Running away, eh? Oh my god, another one. That, that, okay, we're settling down here for sure. This continues on. Oh my god! This is the dream! Oh no! Somebody's here to ruin our. No! <laughs> Why? Why game? I was like, this is amazing! And then Scythia happens. Oh no. That was a real roller coaster. So we have her lovely second settled city, not on water. Well, we know who our target is. So that's a good thing. Um, and I need to protect this. Uh, I need to forward settle her. <coughs> Start was too good to be true. Yeah. I mean, like all of these tiles are amazing. So where do we want to settle? I like the hill settle because of uh, the defensive bonuses, even though we won't get extra production. Like, and I might raise this city because <clears throat> it doesn't. I mean, the step well, honestly, it gives is some forgiveness for, for where you settle. Um, like I could I could I could see a world in which we like settle something over here and like settle like a like you're not as punished for uh, for non fresh water. I mean, to have no water is just irresponsible, but <clears throat> Hmm. And I'm not going to send a delegation. We're definitely going to fight her. This is go this will be a battle. This is going to turn into a battle. Um and it makes me not want to get Artemis. It makes me want to get started on my general like right away. It seriously makes me want to abandon even even though this Artemis is amazing. So that Artemis right there is 1 2 3 4. So 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 that's too good not to go for. God damn it. Why she got to be there? Unfortunately, this is a really good district location. We might have to get rid of it just to have it. It's such a good tile, though. All right. Next turn. And once again, I think I'm going to get screwed on city-state meets. Happens to be all the time on continents. I really want to, oh, well, her already promoted warrior. <laughs> How early will the AI get Artemis uh, on this map, on this continent? Probably pretty fast. I'm not sure what her exact early game priorities are, um, but the fact that we have, we have both truffles and uh, ivory over here, means that I think it'll go reasonably quick. So this is her cap. So yeah, we definitely need to get a city over here. A settler steel could turn this around? Absolutely. And my warrior's not far behind. Although we're not building any military. If we wind up trying to go for a settler steel, it, it might mean no Artemis. I want to I wanna just 
I want to be as, as assertive with my units over here as possible. Be assertive with your units. Uh, we've grown now, thankfully. So we've got a 2-2 tile, reasonable growth, and the settler on the way. And another, okay, 11 turns before that, but that's okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sit right here for a turn. Oh, actually, that's a bad idea. I need, I need vision on the settler to see where it's going. Okay, turned around. Turned around. <coughs> Which is actually good for us. Okay, you sent me a delegation. I am fond of pigs. Oh, uh, so she's already met them, but scientific city state. So probably no first meet. Actually guarantee it it's no first meet. Um, but that's not bad. One, two, three, no, not that's not in range. <sighs> Thanks, Brown Shark. I'll try not to die to all the barbarians. I like this settle because there's so much flat land here. So if we're going to fight her, like, and she's stupid, like, she's got to go here to, like, hit us. And, and kind of everything around it's flat land, giving me extra combat bonuses. I can position another archer there. I think I like this settle quite a bit. It's very defensive. Fingers crossed for Stockholm. That'd be nice. Thinking that's our first or our first expand. Starts with a 2-2 tile and then grows into this, hopefully. Unfortunately, these don't get boosted by Artie, but that's okay. I should just be going for encampments. But we really we honestly have time. Um, military training is where we get our, our war. So we'll still want to get, um, we'll still probably want to get to oligarchy for the four combat strength. Although that won't apply to any of our cav cavalry. I don't know. Double this with muskets for mid game stuff. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. But we need to get to political philosophy and then military training. So we actually do have a little bit of time. The problem is with this forward settle is it's probably going to encourage her to declare on me and that could be trouble. Like, I think we can definitely win once we get to our Varu. Um, but yeah. Might be a little bit. We might be provoking. We might be poking the beast here. Okay. Yes, continue moving away from me. Ah, Geneva. With a trigger the Eureka for irrigation. Doable. Very doable, and that would give us some extra science. That would help quite a bit. Yeah, I won't have room without the forward settle. I actually need to probably get here and down here somewhere. It's like this settle and then this settle. And then eventually, like after we have Artemis, we could set, we could still settle here. Although we could just do it here. I mean, we are going to inherit some cities, right? So we could actually spread this out. We do. We are. We have the potential to have really tall cities, so it kind of makes sense to give each of these cities as much land as possible. All right, so five turns on this guy. Every yeah, I, a TOA just might go. I mean, we could we could just. Oh. She has the exact same like two two and then three two as me, plus she's the AI. She doesn't have a camp that we know of though. Good, yes. Move away from me. Uh, yeah, that's yikes. So, like I said, the barbarian concern is real.
Yeah, we're in. Oh my god, please no. And there are definitely like, oh, it's gonna be horse. It's gonna be barb horsemen. Yikes. Okay. I want to escort this settler. Like it's multiplayer. Cool. And this is coast as well. This is kind of what I thought might happen with continents. Is we would get an early, an advantage to, uh, by, by taking over whoever else is on the continent. Wisdom. At least the city can have an aqueduct. Have that guy hang out. We've got two turns. Um, okay. Just, just to see if I could get any cheapo movement there. All right, so we've, we've grown yet again. I like working the production tile over the food tile because we are getting a settler. Um, I probably need to go towards craftsmanship again, uh, even though, again, I really like this strat. But we're going to want to produce our slingers slash, slash archers faster. We're going to need a builder. Um, what pa pantheon choice? I haven't even thought about it. Um... I don't know what we want. God of the Forge? God of the Forge. God of the Forge would be good. So this, so running running the production in all cities would almost get us uh, the settler next turn instead of the turn after. We need, tw we need 12 more production. We have 10 production, so we could make it go to 11. Now, then we would overflow, though. So we could overflow about 10 production. It's going to overflow similarly anyways. Open sky? Open sky would be good for us. Yeah, lots, lots of that. If it's open sky, that usually doesn't go. Um, and and our, our scout is escorting, not discovering. So I'm going to take this. Because that's probably going to come into play. I think we ignore our pantheon again. Open sky would be fine as well, just because uh, we do need that culture to get to uh, military training. I think I'm going to ignore it. I normally don't recommend ignoring your panth pantheon, but uh, yeah, I think we're just, we're just going to produce things. I want to build all the things. So did you settle yet? Yep. So she did settle that other city somewhere. So we don't have to worry about her coming up like right away. And then since this seems like coast and probably not worth exploring, certainly she's taken any goody huts. I'm getting I'm getting goody hut boned again. Just keep this guy nearby. Um okay, builder slinger settler. The slinger, because the barbs, maybe? It's only three turns, because we have all that overflow. Six turns until growth. Uh, if we're going to get started on Artie right away, I'm going to have to buy two tiles. There's no, there's, no, there's no option for us to like really get this. Okay, that's going to expand on its own, so I have to buy one tile. many farms what I mean really just irritated irritated yeah the slinger's the safe choice um it throws off our time actually it's okay we're only improving this camp what else are we doing with our builder charges I don't need I mean I could create a one three tile Chop. Chop these. Rice farm. How do I get this tile, though? I won't have the money for it. 
and it's not going to expand to these for a long time. It's going to go this, and then this, and then this, and then this. So these won't get exp like I'd have to double tile by that. I don't think that's reasonable. So this, and then maybe over here is another settle. Yeah, then we don't waste the two two tiles. It definitely feels like she probably has like a giant continent below us. So forcing her away from the settle spot, I think, was a giant deal because we look like really penned in. Um, and this is my issue with continents maps is you can you can really get screwed uh, like this. Unless this like randomly like branches off up for, up top, but I kind of doubt it. Uh, John now sixty nine. Thanks for the follow, dude. Welcome in. Welcome in. I think it's actually builder and then slinger. Get off. Get away. This is my spot. You go away. Nice. And we're denounced. Somebody north of me? God, if Peter's, if Peter's up north, that would just be ridiculous. Oh, boy. The loyalty already. All right, good job, Scout. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Um, loyalty. Minus seven loyalty is a lot. Yeah, the capital is going to grow in two turns, and I don't have plans for more. Uh, another settler right this second. We could also then buy buy this city, the three two tile, and have them grow fast. I still like this. Oh, there's a city state over here, really? Maybe I will get a first meet. Monuments are two forty. We're not gonna be able to afford the monument. I thought about it. It also won't have full loyalty for a while, so we won't get that loyalty per turn. That'll paid. drop right away. You get paid. Jay do Wonder, two months of the Prime sub, dude. Do you get paid more if they do stuff to your butt? Thank you very no. kindly. It's fine. I'll do it. I'm in. Yeah. Welcome back into the shop, my friend. Thank you very much. Happy days. Not playing America today. Yeah, it's, it is the Fourth of July. I am not playing America today. We're we're continuing on with the challenge. I don't want to fall behind in this stuff. Looks like this is going to be another city. Oh, yeah. Tile hype. Tile hype. Thank you, buddy. Thank you for bringing that Prime sub back. Uh, Do you guys see all the free games you can get on Prime, by the way? If, if, if for nothing else, um, if you're looking for a reason to connect your Twitch and your Prime account together... Uh, they're giving away like free games and it's like they're decent game like they're good games Okay, I like the settle here and then the buy of this two turns um, She's actually only pop three over here Was my build order scout settler builder and praying for no barb camps. I already know I have a barb camp I have to deal with we've uh, we've been spotted so we're definitely gonna have some issues It's, it's definitely risky. <laughs> I'm definitely, uh, I don't recommend this. Doing what I'm doing. Getting the slinger is the smart choice. Um, but this is, I'm, I'm, I'm making the Artemis play. Barb camp is where, oh my god, over there. Really? How? Oh, purple. Kumasi, be Kumasi. I'll be so happy. All right, so minus eight, but next turn we grow, and most of this loyalty stuff is based on uh, population. So we'll settle and buy this tile 
so that they grow in five turns. So five turns, this will go down a bit. Five turn puts us at negative 35, um, and then we should be okay. I think we can hold this city. Um, and over here, we're getting started with some military. Although, archery's going to finish. I'm going to start with a warrior. Yeah. I'm just going to ignore. Not Kumasi. Not a first meet. Oh, man. Um, I really like mods. We yeah, we run a couple mods. We run UI mods, um, and then a wa and a mod that gives the city states walls right away. Because I I just I'm I, I got so tired of the AI just barreling over all of the city states like right away. It was really irritating. So that's what we do. Recruit a great scientist. Boo. The good news is she'll probably build holy sites first. And yes, Rise and Fall is great. Highly recommend. It added so many different and new dimensions to the game. It was really good. All right, so we have grown here yet again. So we're back. We're, we're, we're down to 2.9 loyalty. And then this will grow in four turns and start to, start to pick it back up. Now, the one thing is... 2, 2, 2, 2. Okay, that's all right. And I actually want to lock these in. It's going to want to work um, this. But I again, with the loyalty issues, I think I'm going to force the growth a little bit faster. We give up um, a production and a gold, which is like a production and a third-ish. And yeah, we can get just a uh, harbor over there if we want. We could have Patna uh, build all the navy, all the ships. I love that this is just in the middle of nowhere. Ah, they have grabbed their borders. The border war is on. Oddly, it appears not to be the scar of a meteorite, but a deeply eroded dome with a rainbow-inspired color scheme. Okay. So we discovered a wonder, which is also awkwardly placed. So if we settle here, we can actually settle down here as well. Let's settle the wonder, get a holy site. Oh, that means you didn't... Oh, no. Oh, I might have to work this. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is bad. It, d it didn't grow to the ivory. It, it switched to the stone. Okay, well, maybe I do have to work the ivory then. And just trust that the loyalty will be fine. And just build some slingers to defend us ourselves. That's the way we're going to go. Dr. Gonzo! They do stuff to your butt. Finally no. catching a stream. I'll do it. I'm in. Finally catching a live stream. Happy 4th. Happy 4th to you as well. Thank you very much. Thank you for the six months of the Prime sub in a row. Very generous. Thank you for bringing that back here over and over. I appreciate it. Welcome back into the shop, my friend. Thank you very much. This is a bummer. You got to spend money to make money, though. I need 75 gold over here. Uh, and we can work a two gold tile. So, uh, it's not that bad. And actually allows me to sneak in another slinger. And since we are working the gold tile, we'll eventually have money to upgrade him. So, let's pivot here real quick. It delays Artemis, like, ever so much. And that's not a thing I'm excited about. Um, but it's a risk we're going to have to take. If we lose out on Artemis, we can just put all the overflow into a um, into military or a settler. All right, where are you at, Barb's? I know you're over here somewhere. 
This is going to be our three tiles, so we can uh, delay this as well. City losing loyalty. Not true anymore. We are rising by 0.1. Woohoo! And we're about to grow in two turns as well, so should be good. Should be good. Oh, my God. Whoa! These tiles actually suck for Petra, by the way. So it's really only like one, two, three, four, five, six. And we're, we're getting a goodie hut, which is crazy. You could try the shift ender thing to save production for the wonder. That's true. Maybe we'll give that a go. Hi. What you doing there, warrior? So, <laughs> Scythia and the Zulu. Oh, boy. <laughs> well, it's going to be that kind of a game. Go up there next. It's a little risky. Petra Riot. It's a pretty good one. But it's more, it's going to be a war game, so I don't know that that's happening. Nah, they're too far away to focus each other. She's going to focus on me. Oh, boy. Whoa! What? Okay, interesting. And Stockholm. Uh, I hope we kill him here. Yes! Oh my pet, holy. <sighs> Nowhere to settle though. That like dream Petra. I'm salivating. I'm like literally salivating at the potential. It's a boost to horseback riding. Ooh, this does go on a little bit. Yeah, you're not wrong, Garf. You are not wrong, my friend. Okay, all right, all right. Okay, so next turn we finish our second slinger. I think it's... Let's go finish archery now. And next turn I can buy this. Oh, that's perfect. And we'll do that. We'll, we are definitely going to shift enter uh, next turn and save our production. Oh, really? Oh, really? <laughs> it's Persia. Oh no. <laughs> really starting to dislike Twitch for not showing me when I'm live? Yeah, that's a bummer, man. I'm sorry, Ryder. Started like normal today. Every day, 10 a.m. Oh man. These are like the most aggro civs. My goodness, this is bad. I'm gonna, I'm gonna protect this guy. I'm. So, this is, this is, this is making me nervous. Still, and once, can I, can I complain? I'm sorry. Like again, th th four civs on one continent. Four civs on one continent. Okay, so. Yeah, let's save our let's save our production for this turn. So what we're gonna do uh, for those of you on YouTube who want to know what the heck I'm talking about, we've got our spot now. 
um, is okay. That's the timer too. Um, is we're going to save our production in our cap. This is a trick that we actually just learned yesterday. Um, and our 12.6 production, rather than throwing it somewhere uselessly, we can save it um, by just using shift enter to force the turn to end. Um, and then that 12 production can go into Artemis. I see there are total. There are eight on this map. There are eight. Good morning, Mac. How you doing, buddy? One, two, three. So I don't have to pick that. I've met Persia. We're at eight of twelve era score. I think my barb I think we can take out this camp. That'll be fine. Ah, this is crazy. The Zulu might not be here for very long. Alright, so instead of choosing production, shift enter. Forces the turn. Turned around again. Really? So this guy moved out. Interesting. I will heal a turn and then attack it. Okay, so now we can get started on Artemis, which is only 13 turns away. Uh, that puts us at turn 41, largely due to the really excellent tiles that we've started with. Get our goody hut. Ooh, that's perfect. Um, this makes me nervous. And if I move, I there's no there's no moving back. I'm just gonna make him an archer. Thank you, goody hut. Okay, next stop, encampments. Another good petrol location. It's might not be bad at all. This is insane. Okay. Um, we also... Persia likes us. That and that. Um, loyalty no longer an issue. Thanks very much. Uh, would you like to buy some horses? Are you interested in that kind of a thing? Eight gold per turn. Or not... Did I say horses? I meant elephants. Ooh, she's like, nope, not interested. He, he doesn't, he has his capital left and that's it. Oh no. Sorry, buddy. Sorry, earmuffs. All right, cool. Let's trade with Persia. Seems good. Oh, no. No. Please, no. Please. Um, I would love to clear this. Actually, this would give me money, and then we could buy an archer down here. Oh, no. No. No, it's all going to come to a crashing halt. <laughs> no, what's up, Jeb? Happy Merca Day. Yeah, Merca. <laughs> yeah, no Teddy today. We're just doing the challenge. It's, it's more fun that way. This will give me gold. And I need 240. Oh, I'm so scared. This is not good. Oh, nice. We got a positive one. When you find yourself. All right, come back. So I don't know if she's going to let me live for the next like seven or eight turns. But if she does, I think we'll be okay. If she declares now and starts stealing my cities, I this might be just GG.
Please, no. Let's go south. Because I want to I wanna see what's going on down there. So we have Stockholm and Geneva. Oh, I forgot to end the video. That, that was a while ago. Sorry, this one ran a little long. <laughs> At least we played more than a couple turns. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.